By the age of 25, I had a net worth in cash of over £50,000. I had multiple cars, I had multiple investments in precious metals and other areas, and all while I was renting for the last five years and going out and seeing my friends and partying. Here's how I did it. So I've always been a worker, I've always wanted to earn my own money. So as soon as I left school, I started working hard. And I remember I saved my first thousand pound by the age of 16, it was a great feeling. I soon realized that I was a very good saver. So right now I have property, I have a very expensive car. To be frank, it cost me over 25,000 pound in cash, but I also still have investments in precious metals and other areas. And I'm 26 now, so how did I do that? Well, I really do believe it starts with the mindset. Without the mindset, you're not going to get anywhere. You have to have the mindset to have the dream, to start implementing the dream. And then more importantly, out of all of that, you have to be consistent. And that comes across every part of life with work and with investing, with saving money and with trying to progress in your dream. And that comes over to here at Future Investments. I'm pumping out the content every single day. You have to be consistent to grow. I think there's great things and reasons why you should be good with money. I love to keep a war chest. I've got all these investments, but I keep a war chest of a pretty substantial amount of savings. And I can tell you, one thing that is really great about that is there's enough stresses in life. You know, we all get stressed out on our day-to-day -day basis. So I do believe if you can relieve any stress that is gonna come up in your life try and do it because it just makes your life so much easier so by having a war chest of a fairly large amount of savings it really does create a lot less stress in your life with all the inflation going on in the world right now you know people are worrying about being able to pay their gas and electric bills or afford food shopping i'm in a very fortunate position where yes i am aware of the current economic problems with the inflation and how everything's getting more expensive and I've noticed it don't get me wrong but I don't actually worry I don't need to wake up and think can I afford to pay my gas and electric bill if they increase it by 200 pound a month and I've made that position for myself I've not had any inheritance in fact my parents they gave us a fantastic upbringing for all of my siblings we went on holidays and did absolutely everything we were very very fortunate and we we probably had, you know, a better childhood than a lot of people. We were very lucky. But my mum and dad weren't finance people. They didn't go to private schools. So they weren't necessarily into finances and they never really taught me about investing and saving. I kind of grew that mindset and developed it myself and taught myself how to have the mindset to save, invest and when to enjoy your money. Yeah, so don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I'm a millionaire by any means. I'm not that wealthy. I still have to work for a living and go to my job as a full-time employee. But, you know, I've made good investments. I've sacrificed some things in life to be able to save and then have that balance of having a war chest, investments and enjoyment. And it kind of dawned on me in late 2021 in July that I needed to start enjoying some of my wealth because you're never guaranteed tomorrow. And I'm actually a big petrol head, I love my cars. So in July, 2021, I took a huge proportion of my war chest and I spent it on a 2016 Nissan 370Z Nismo. And I tell you what, I absolutely love that car. And that is not an asset. It doesn't give me any passive income. In fact, it's a detriment to my wealth. It costs me. You know, I have to pay £600 a year tax on that thing, £500 a year insurance. And the fuel is a different level. The tyres, it's a very, very expensive thing to own. But you've got to have some enjoyment in life. You can't go through investing and just thinking about money because it gets very, very draining. And I have had that period in my life where you become a little bit too obsessed with it and it ends up controlling your life. And you might have loads of money and loads of assets, but you're probably less happy than someone who's got 50 quid in the bank account, but is going out and seeing their friends all the time. So I, I, I'm happy I reached that point where I changed a, a balance in my life. And now I've got something that I can enjoy every weekend. And it takes my mind away from growth, from progression, trying to better my dream. And I can just go out and enjoy it. So I do think you should have a fine balance between investing, saving, and also enjoying your wealth because life's too short just to be focused on money. And that's why on my Instagram, every single day, I post motivational content to help you guys and help myself be happy and just to remind yourself that, you know, if you're having a bad day, there's somebody having a worse day than you. So suck it up 
and you know smile because it could always be worse if i can do it guys you can do it it's all about the mindset dream it implement it be consistent i think that's the three biggest things 2023 is going to be a huge year for future investments we're growing on youtube so quick we're soon going to be monetized which is a great thing because it means i can put more investments into the channel which creates better content for you so i hope you've enjoyed this episode thank you for watching if you want to see a video on how to remove milk spots on your silver coins click this video here